Hello and welcome back to Brigador, where we are going through uh, Mission 5, or 05, New Feeling. Um, last time around, had some trouble uh, with that, a, that heavy A grab. I was just failing in multiple ways. So, we're going to try something else. We're just going back to the Toro, which is we've used a couple of times now. Not my favorite thing, but perfectly serviceable. I think it'll be more... Uh, a better option in this type of map as well. It strikes me that the A-Gravs are pretty good for certain types of maps and very bad at others. And um, fairly dense urban areas like a lot of this map contains um, are not their strong suit. Um, their maneuverability is just not up to snuff. I have to remind myself of um, what the weapons are here. moving and uh, fend off attacks from two sides is not easy. Fuck. Come on. I'm already down half of my arm or half of my health. Which is not good. Does not bode well. Didn't even realize that guy was still alive. I saw him moving. Bring the cavalry, and I will regret it. I do feel like I can evade some of these folks a lot better, though. Jesus. Fucking hit the guy? Come on. No, give me a hand here. Alright. Not a terrible start. Not great. Could have done better, but. This time I saw you parked. Should have I should have loaded before I did that, but oh well. Two for one. I'll take it. Not bad. Good shooting, if I do say so myself. guys there before or did they move them? I think they must have moved them. I'm gonna line this shot up so I can not collide with any walls. 
free on this way. No. I done it. No, die! Fuck, what am I hitting? Okay, good. I was really worried I was gonna set off the alarm there, but killing that one thing meant the whole... The delay is more substantial than I thought, basically, is what it comes down to. I don't want to go there and fight him, but you know what? Let's just keep moving. Alright, that was not bad. A little rough at the beginning. That spawn is pretty rough. Alright, rounder. Archer's rounder is armor with a Zeus 25mm railgun and a Crambo 20mm chain gun with active camouflage for defense. This loadout is as a tactical skirmisher. Tremendous single target damage in range, but has trouble with swarms. Use maneuverability and stealth to corral targets into choke points and avoid getting cornered. I keep forgetting about my active abilities that I can use. Just don't use them. Um, yeah, something tells me if I can uh, survive this first area with this guy, I'll be okay. Otherwise, this is going to be bad. This chassis. Wow. That was weird. This chain gun thing is, um, that Shotgun spread is deceptively... has deceptively little damage to it. I'm still alive. Alright. The thing I just said right before that probably answers my own question, but... See, here's the other problem, is with the different weapon energy types, like with... If you, ha if you have both of your weapons as kinetic, then you have overall less effectiveness, because I don't have anything that goes like straight through shields if they have lots of shields, or is particularly useful against armor if they're heavy armor. That said, chain gun's pretty effective. As long as you can hit with it. Which is a question of its own. It doesn't have that much spread. It just seems like it, it seems like it's just very ineffective against shields. It's probably the issue. Why can I not reload here? Oh, because I didn't. I, again, the colors, pink and blue, and then the actual colors of the ammo. It's confusing still. Good eyes there. I like the armor piercing nature of this cannon though. Yeah, 
I like this cannon a lot. <laughs> got a, a lovely um, that that like streak that it leaves behind really does a lot to tell you how powerful the thing is too it's awesome it's really well done and this time I don't even have to well I say that and then this happens fuck come on Stupid pylon got in the way and got me killed. All right. Reorganize myself in my chair and we'll give it another try. <laughs> All right, I'll be a little less cocky. Too bad, not too bad. Oh, come on. Downside the camera, I guess. Ah, uh, see, the, these random things, I don't like this chain gun. Because these random pieces of debris that just stop all, halt all damage. And they're, some of the things that have that effect are very hard to see. In that case, it was that corpse of that big, that big shield carrier. Oh, wait. Yeah, not a big fan of the chain gun. Okay, it's just... downside I'm noticing for the... Oh, it's not driving to that again. Um, serious downside I'm noticing of the this big uh, cannon is the uh, reload speed is incredibly slow. So if you need to fire it twice, you better have planned for that. Nice one, jackass. Killed your friend. I do like this loadout, though. When did you get set off already? I mean, I prefer to set you off there than somewhere else, but... Oh, shit. Alright, cool. You know what? Let's just get out of here. Did what I needed to do. Got an achievement as well. What was that for? Kill 1,000 loyalists. All right. All right, let's do this last one. Rosario's Chook is armored, uh, is armed with a Preacher 76 millimeter cannon and a Belter 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter chain gun 
with an auto kin audio kinetic pulse for defense. That's an interesting. This loadout de deals tremendous amounts of damage but lacks the staying power of heavier mechs or defensive ability that allows for disengaging. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, hmm. This could be very difficult. I guess we'll find out just how difficult it is. I just noticed that the, um, there seem to be two people in this mech, and they are just exposed. How big are you? Okay, you're not that small. Oh man, this thing is fast, though. Try it this way, find out what works. It's also already not terrible, but not great either. Definitely has the potential to go very wrong at any moment. Okay, I really expected this to be squishier than, than I am, but I'm doing all right so far. Oh, you're still alive. I don't know what it is that's making some of these guys look dead when they're still alive. considered this is probably the run of, of the four runs this is probably the one that's had the least strife um, I haven't lost any any part of my chassis or really my armor where are you guys going Come back and fight please don't alert anyone I was never here strikes me that a light mech is not very appealing to me because I don't particularly love the mech movement to begin with but the so in in previous cases I've at least had the solace of well if I do something dumb in the mech at least I've got a lot of health to fall back if I lose if I lose track of where my footing is um, have a few seconds to survive this one Although it technically hasn't been a problem for me so far, um, very likely of any sort of extended use, I would see that problem. Okay, I think I should just... Fuck. 
Fuck, 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 fuck. Get away from me, bomb. Fuck. No, I wasn't here. Please die. Please die. Ah. Fuck that bomb. I'm blaming the bomb for that one. Because I just... It's got... It's so big and yet I keep missing it. Don't like it. <laughs> Okay. It's also kind of annoying that the only ones with alarms are right at the end of the end of the mission. Okay, this is going a lot worse. Still not unrecoverable, but... Okay. We're alright. We live. Fuck off. Took a little bit of chassis damage. We're okay. Tried out the special weapon yet. Less ammo, a little less health, but basically back to where we were before. This is also one of the first times I'm really seeing one of the things that was mentioned but um, only very briefly, which is that when I start moving, um, you'll see my cursor kind of moves because in the in an effort to you know make this somewhat realistic, um, the like firing of your weapons and the various mechanical side effects of movement or weaponry is, you know, taken into account. So, like, you see when I make small movements how, like, it affects my aim. Um, and that was not as apparent on most of the other, uh, most of the other platforms that I've used. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, bomb. Nothing like a dumb nuke with its own homing system. You guys good?
Okay, let's do this without setting off an alarm. out of ammo as well. So, perfect time to book it. See ya, suckers. Oh, alright. Tricky. Things to learn. Good stuff. Nice variety. Not always the most fun, but, I mean, that's sort of the idea. It's a struggle. Um, alright. Well, we'll get on to um, the next mission in the next episode, but before that... Um, whoops, that's here. Anti gravity platforms. Turns out those stories about A grab jockeys getting ball cancer was just a big scare. Statistical anomaly, according to Central. I mean, the poor bloke still got cancer, but, it suppo but supposedly it wasn't caused by the A grab drives. I wouldn't put it past Central to lie about something like that. But if it were true, then half the Corvid should be a, a, be symptomatic now, given they had an entire generation spend more time riding skates than standing on solid ground. Anyway, A-Gravs provide the convenience of ignoring terrain without the dopish sluggishness of a hovercraft. Still have to be careful, though, as most most are light on control surfaces. As most are, as most are light on control surfaces outside the drives themselves. Engine failure means you drop like a rock. And at high speed, that's a death sentence. Heyday of the troubles, you got canary patrols that would plant EMP grenades along straightaways. Wait for a pack of Corvid grav bikes to come tearing through. At those speeds, you had to clean them off the walls as often as the pavement. There's a lot of flavor there. I mean, not literally. Hopefully, let's not talk about cleaning people up off the walls literally as flavor. Anyway, um, yes. There's a lot of flavor text there. Interesting stuff, tells you technical information and about, you know, history and the groups and it's, it's neat. I like it. I like this stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another episode. This has been Brigador. I've been the Social Solipsist and I'll see you guys next time.